Now in today's video we're going to be putting together another PC but this time it's not for me, this time it is going to be for my nephew. It is going to be their very first gaming PC and I'm actually going to build it out of all of these old parts. The reason that we're going old for this system is because I actually want them to learn how to do this kind of stuff. I will build the initial system and then I'm going to walk them through different upgrades that they can make and going forward. They also don't have that many kind of requirements because they only really want to play something like Fortnite. So it doesn't take a lot to be able to do that. But as their need grows, hopefully they'll learn how to kind of upgrade it themselves. And I'm sure we'll go along with that journey as well. So for this system we do have a number of parts here it is a complete system and a lot of it is reasonably old now most of this stuff was actually given to the channel by either the community or brands as part of sampling and what i tend to do is just pay them forward really and i like to do that by giving people pcs and things like this and this one is actually going to be for my nephew the components we've actually got here are not the latest at all they're actually reasonably old now but they're going to be able to play the games that he wants to play as well as being a great opportunity for him to do some kind of upgrades even though some of it is quite old now i did want to give him a pretty decent foundation particularly when it came to the case and for the case we've actually got this this is the fractal meshify c it is a reasonably old case now it's been used a few times but it is in great condition and it's really going to give him an opportunity to grow as well as having great airflow and being a pretty quality build it's going to pretty much survive anything that is obviously an atx case so for that we also need an atx board and for that one we're going to be going with this now this is a reasonably older board now and it's actually a reasonably decent high-end board it is an msi motherboard a z97 gaming 3 and of course what that means is it's a fourth generation the cpu inside of here should be enough to actually power all of the games that he wants to play right now and maybe a few more if we actually did do a bit of an upgrade we do have four sticks of memory in here it is the green stuff because that's really all i had in terms of ddr3 in my parts bin and it, it brings it to a total of 16 gigs so that's four gigabytes per stick but again like i said at the beginning it's going to give him an opportunity to upgrade this stuff if he wants to put some kind of better cooled memory in there he can always do that another thing that's cool with this board is that it does come with an m.2 slot which is quite rare for the age of this board but it does have one it is only restricted to a sata m.2 which is what i've installed in there it's a 250 gigabyte western digital green sata m.2 drive with a nice little red cooler on it i think that kind of really goes nice with the rest of the board particularly with the red and black accents but aside from the board we of course need some other components for additional storage i'm just going to be installing a very basic one terabyte seagate barracuda drive that is a hard drive so it's going to be a little bit noisy a little bit slow but it's going to be perfectly fine for storing games again if he wants to upgrade i'll walk him through the upgrade on this and he can always go to pretty much up to six kind of sata ssds on this board so i don't think he'll have an issue with this but if he does uh, i'm walking for that process and i'm sure he'll learn along the way to cool this i7 processor we're going to be using a pretty decent cooler here this is another piece of the uh, kind of puzzle here that's going to be a pretty decent foundation it is a twin tower cooler from gillette and it does have six heat pipes it's going to be more than enough for this i7 processor plus any additionals going forward because i have got all the brackets for this so if he was to change the platform for an amd platform or even a modern intel platform this thing will actually suit i do also have the lga 1700 bracket so that's actually going to be pretty good and it also gives us an opportunity to put some kind of rgb in the system because we know kids love rgb in that we've got all the brackets and the clips and stuff for that there and we're going to be installing these two fans on it these are the ones that actually came with it they are argb fans they have standard connections and they will all hook together and they'll work perfectly fine on this board for the power supply we're just going with a very basic 500 watt here this is probably going to be one of the first things that i'm going to walk you through upgrading we're going to probably put something a much better rated in there because this isn't a rated power supply it's something that is very basic it's cheap and it works it's 500 watts and it's going to work perfectly fine for all this kit but it will give you an opportunity to learn how to change a power supply and actually kind of build the foundation stronger as we would say then of course for a gaming pc we need a graphics card and again for that we're going to go for something basic this is my amd radeon rx 480 8 gigabyte now this card is obviously coming to the end of its life now but it will play all of the games that he wants to play perfectly fine it's got enough vram in there to be able to cope with even higher settings on a lot of those games 
but we, I'm sure we'll do some testing with it and we'll show you what the, it can actually do. This card does look quite nice against this motherboard in this case. It's not a stupidly tiny card. It's also not a stupidly long card. So I think it's going to actually look nice in there. It's a shame it doesn't come with a backplate, but again, this is going to be a component that you can upgrade and I'll teach him how to do that as well as, you know, changing all the software over, running DDUs and things like that. For additional cooling in this case, we are going to continue on with the Gillette theme here. We're going to be installing the ARGB fans. They are very nice fans. They've got infinity mirrors into the middle and they kind of do match the design of the ones for the cooler. So the system's going to kind of look nice and integrated together. That is all of the components we're going to be using. It is a very old system, but it's going to do whatever you wants it to do right now and give him an opportunity to learn how to upgrade and of course being such an old platform and things that we've actually obtained over time it doesn't really matter if he blows something up if he changes the power supply and the new one takes the border it's fine we can actually just pop something else in there another cheap upgrade maybe something like a, an am4 platform and it would get him going again so this is all of the components and of course i suppose we need to now put the machine together Now the beauty of a machine like this is that you get the best of both worlds. There is older components in here, that is fine because he's going to learn to upgrade and if he blows anything up it doesn't matter but we've actually given it a strong foundation here aside from the power supply which should probably be the first thing that I need for him to kind of learn to upgrade but we've got a very decent case here the fractal mesh device still looks absolutely stunning it fits everything in and not only does it look good it's actually a dream to build into it's so easy that it's going to be really easy for him to do some kind of upgrades and not have any kind of problems fitting things in we can still fit in here and an AIO if he ever wants to but we have given him a super strong cooler here which will fit pretty much any socket so if he does come to upgrade the platform or anything like that he's not gonna have to worry about also getting a cooler system it's gonna work perfectly fine the green sticks of DDR3 actually get hidden by this cooler which is really nice and of course the RGB really gives it a little bit of pop and flair particularly for kids because they kind of like the RGB it kind of makes it look a little bit like a gaming machine but also a little bit premium as well because of the case we chose when it comes to the specs that are in this machine right now though it is gonna actually play every game that he wants he wants to be able to play Fortnite and if you drop the settings just a little bit drop it down to a 1080p medium you're going to get around 100 frames per second 
Rocket League, no problem at all, nearly 200 frames per second, even running in 1080p with a high preset. And then, of course, you can still also play thousands of other games. A couple of the other games that we tested on this machine included Doom Eternal. Now, with 1080p and a high preset, you're going to get a pretty decent average FPS there, nearly 100 frames per second. And even games just like Spider-Man Remastered, which is another game that he will probably want to play, you can get a decent 60 fps experience if you drop the settings down to medium i think this machine's actually turned out exceptionally well he doesn't even know that i'm building this at the moment so it's going to be a real surprise for him now all i need to do is actually just pack it up get it all set up and ready to go and i'll deliver it to him i'll probably walk him through actually setting it up because i believe that he currently plays on a console he's never had a pc before so this is going to be a real surprise to him and like i say going forward i'm going to walk him through how to do upgrades on it We'll get this graphics card changed at some point we'll get the platform changed but apart from that for now it's a great pc for a kid to get started on let me know what you think about the system in the comments below have you got a system like this or would you have loved to have something like this to start with particularly when you're starting to learn how to actually get everything together don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content we've got plenty of builds coming forward some new some slightly old and you won't want to miss them and i'm sure as always we'll catch you guys in the next one